New Jersey mailman 26 faces up to five years in prison for dumping 99 ballots in the trash that were meant for voters in heavily democratic suburbs. However, upon further reading, it turns out his motivations weren't actually political. He was just being lazy as hell and throwing away a bunch of mail because he didn't want to do his job. Hello, Redditors of the internet, and welcome to r slash just neckbeard things part 46. Let's get started. I gave you likes. I gave you emojis. I gave you my all and received nothing in return. Never again, milady. Never again. Now, what kind of emojis may you ask? Well, I can't get into that lest I be demonetized. I've just been thinking how I really can't imagine myself being in a relationship. Like, just the thought of it seems wrong. A real-life female that loves me and wants to sleep with me is some science fiction BS. The more I think about it, the more I don't blame them for not wanting to go out with me because it just seems wrong, lol. And say I do find a girlfriend, what happens then, lol? I've missed out on so many experiences that before I can figure out how to act, I'll have been dumped. I'll never find a virgin, so she'll always have someone superior to compare me to. This whole thing seems rigged, lol. This next one's titled Imaginary Son. Teacher, your son brought a weapon to school. Me, nodding. A samurai never travels unarmed. Teacher, your son is not a samurai. Me, drawing sword. What the hell did you just say? I'll let you know I spent years of training in Japan for this. So, I've calculated it. There are 168 hours and 7 days. I spent 107 of those hours playing World of Warcraft. That leaves 61 hours. I never get more than 5 hours of sleep, but assuming I got 5 hours every day for simplistic calculations, that leaves 26 hours. In that week, school can be rounded to about 20 hours of class, labs, homework, lab reports, and reading leaving six hours, which was spent playing Rainbow Six, Among Us, and cooking dinner, all meals were consumed while playing WoW. So let's say I spent three hours cooking and three hours on those other games, that means 110 hours of my week were spent playing video games, which is about 65%. And a concerned person replies, yikes, and another replies, you need help dude, that's a lot. And the gamer replies, nah, I'm good, lol. To be honest, I don't think you are. I'm concerned. You're not getting enough sleep and you're playing way too much video games. When it's literally consuming most of your life, that's when it becomes a problem. This next one's titled, all I did was use emojis. I are now go cry because neckbeard hurt feeling. People like you disgust me. I bet you're one of those destroy all men bees. You're probably like 11 years old. Why do people like me disgust you and I'm neither of those things? Wow, read it for one year and still don't even have a third of the karma I have. Is this MF really flexing his MF karma? Yes. Yes he is. Watch out cause he might flex his good boy points after this too. For this next one, I can picture her DMs now. Nice breasts, milady. What is the best way to find a girlfriend from the Gone Wild subreddit? And all the jokes are blue comments, magnificent boobilies, gentle damsel. Might I be so bold as to ask the name of the owner of these mammarial accoutrements? <laughs> mammarial accoutrements? Oh my god. I swear these commenters come up with things that are funnier than the posts themselves. This next one's titled, How Dare They Improve Themselves? Why do women train for ripped abs? It's because they want to look like men. Truthfully, it's gross. Lips, tits, and hips. Men are simple. We want the classic beauty of a feminine hourglass shape. At no time in history did men ever want women with ripped abs. This next one's titled, I bet everyone who used go outside as an insult are really regretting their decisions now. Going in a KFC with the waifu? What, are we looking for some chicken tendies? You know they accept cash and not good boy points, so keep that one in mind. Although I can tell this one's satire. You wanna know why? Cause the guy's room is way too clean to be a neckbeard. This one was clearly doing it for the memes. This next one is from r slash true unpopular opinion. Dating a girl with male friends is hilariously dumb. 
not gonna lie. Especially if you ask them about it and they go, no, they just like my personality. They don't want to sleep with me, XD. It shows the girl does not live in reality. You don't have male friends, you have male orbiters who are waiting for the right time to pounce. I can smell the dried pee and Doritos from here, and so can I. When you say you're 13 on Discord, Oh, here it comes. Here we go. Oh, here's the DMs blowing up the Discord DMs. A bunch of guys looking for my lady, although that's not actually what's happening here. It's just satire. This next one's titled Females is the Cherry on Top. R slash Crappy Life Pro Tips. Females. When describing yourself on a dating site, utilize these terms. Curvy, outgoing, and bubbly. This way, men will know if you're fat, annoying, or fat and annoying. Don't worry, men will still sleep with you. This next one is a big yikes from a TikTok makeover satire. It's all bone structure. You can't change bones. Do the same thing to an actual incel. They will probably look worse after cleaning up. And someone else replies, I've been attracted to many, quote, ugly men just because of how they dress and their confidence. And the neckbeard replies, It just so happens that all of them were tall and conventionally attractive. Ugly for you probably means not a male model. You wouldn't go within a hundred feet of an actual ugly dude. Back then, the men of Europe were real men. Today, they want us to be tolerant to intolerant and unnatural. They want us to be vegan soy boys who like to dress up like a woman and wear the rainbow flag. A man who does not eat meat and is not able to kill an animal to provide for his family is not a real man. But then if you ask him, have you ever been hunting? Video games don't count. This next one's titled, Misleading Profile Picture. Sorry, milady, thought you were a boy because of your cutie anime boy icon. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the last cute girl on earth who apparently has not had her nose done, her lips done, her teeth veneered, or her boobs enlarged. She doesn't show any cleavage, and she doesn't twerk at the camera. Treasure this moment. It may be the last one like this you'll ever have. And this was commented on a video about a deaf girl showing how she wakes up without an audible alarm. This next one, my son's turned 14 and starts talking about girls. How do I explain him women's psychology without negativity? Any idea of the few red pills I can already give him at 14? Oh my god, please don't do this to your child. And the reply? Full of negativity. I would tell him never trust females, especially those you like because they know it due to a sixth sense and they will try to use you. Females will throw you under the bus to be with the hot guy or to protect themselves to look bad in front of people. Women will judge a man only by his looks, which is not how he dresses or acts, but simply genetic characteristics like a wide jaw, narrow eyes, face ratios, how tall he is, and muscles. Most important thing, a girl is her friends. She will always follow the group, and they will condition her about who to date, and it gets a little bit cut off because someone decided to put, oh my god, go outside, which to be honest, is kind of unnecessary. I just want to read the damn posts. When you need to tip a few more fedoras in your life, we have the 12 foot kind heart fedora gray texture. And it's got a kind heart too? Something tells me this is a nice guy. I need a girl with massive anime thighs, extremely tight waist, 5'2", under 120 pounds, no acne, blue eyes, blonde hair, 4.0 GPA, perfect teeth, no makeup. Babe, this isn't Build-A-Bear. Like, what are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a special waifu analysis. POV, you have never interacted with a female in the entirety of your life. Cute and heartwarming smile. This is very important. Silky brown hair that probably smells nice. Big round beautiful breasts good for breeding. Gentle and soft hand, perfect to do something that is way too inappropriate for YouTube. Oh man, let me just censor those hands real quick. Naked apron, modestly preserved the front but still holds the biggest surprise. Heavenly butt, everyone's favorite. And the best part, 
thick thighs, oh yes. Absolutely perfect waifu 10 out of 10. Ladies, your worth is determined by your propensity to be docile, submissive, your abilities as a homemaker, cooking, cleaning, child rearing, and yes, your physical attractiveness. Period. End of sentence. These are biological cues that men are attracted to because they are efficacious to maintaining solid monogamous family structures and by extension healthy and vibrant communities. No amount of self-love and self-acceptance will convince someone you're a worthy partner. Ah, but if you know yourself and love yourself, you can be the best version of yourself for others to also love and hopefully respect and appreciate. We're going up north for this next one, to Canada. Quebec City police are hunting for a man dressed in medieval clothing and armed with a bladed weapon who they say has left multiple victims near the National Assembly. Police asking people to stay indoors. The number of those hurt and the severity is not known. What in the world is going on in Quebec? For this next one, when you're casually playing Among Us, and then find a beautiful milady. Just had the most exciting game of Among Us. I joined this public game and saw this pink girl named Brianna in the lobby. Luckily, I got an imposter because I followed her around, but I left an electrical. I went to security and quickly vented back into electrical. I jumped out of the vent, she ran, but I already locked the doors. I like to play with my prey. I killed her while nobody was looking. I then reported the body and told the people to vote me out. You see, my goal wasn't to win. My goal was to be alone with her. I explained to her why I killed her and why I reported myself. We started flirting and I managed to get her Discord and Instagram account. She's 13, I don't know if I should continue, but my lust for her is uncontrollable and I... She's 13! Holy crap! And this last one, on freaking LinkedIn! I don't disagree with your premise, but let's look at this from a critical thinking perspective, particularly as from your title, you are a social media academic. How can we distinguish the public square of a public online marketplace from a public IRL marketplace? For example, why would it be right to seek dates on Facebook, but not on LinkedIn? I agree that LinkedIn is best for finding top professional links, but what of the private side? Maybe if it is not date per se, but is frisbee golf or whatever mutually enjoyable fandom off limits simply because LinkedIn is assumed a job app? And why if 99% of couples find their future made at a physical place of employment like the secretary starts dating the water delivery guy etc i would think women in particular would be better served by using linkedin because women are all about hypergamy they always trade up they will never trade down as far as permanent relationship for example a man has to earn more than them seems like linkedin is an ideal virtual bar in which women can identify their dating pool candidates and since i am a cocky oft arrogant red-blooded male I am feeling extra audacious that you can't throw your heels nor your drink at me right now. LOL, be good, JT. Uh, dude, this is LinkedIn. What are you doing? Anyway, I'd like to thank all of my patrons, especially Benjamin, Seth Southwell, and Spoonie the Rogue. You can join in the link below, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.